Hello everyone. So we are fairly close to the end of the project. Um, so what we are going to do in this session is we are going to create the service definition and the service binding. Now, if I go to the slide for service uh, definition, uh, so the service definition, it uh, tells what entities need to be exposed. Uh, in our case, we are going to expose ZC UX team. Uh, so if you have a whole number, of, uh, a bunch of other entity sets, then you can expose them all together. Uh, but in our case, we only have a single entity set. So just expose that. Uh, the keyword is exposed. The template pretty much gives us everything. All we have to do is fill in this name. And we can also give an alias as well. So that's what we are going to do. And even at uh, so late in this stage, it is still protocol agnostic. So it is still, you can still create a OData v2 or a v4 service. Uh, even at this stage, uh, it is protocol agnostic. So let's go to the ABAP repository tools. And what I'm going to do is uh, right click and say new a new service definition and I'll call this uh, Z underscore expose yes uh, V team and I'll call this service uh, definition for UX team and let me say finish and let's say finish here and what I need to do is uh, I just need to give the name of the entity name that I need to expose so I'm going to say uh, ZC underscore UX team underscore five 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 one and then I can give an alias so I can say as uh, UX team okay so this should um, suffice um, we only have a single entity set uh, again like I said if you have multiple go ahead expose all of them and I will go ahead and activate this as well so the activation happened uh, no problem uh, the next thing I want to do is create the service binding and the service binding is protocol agnostic. Uh, it is not protocol. This is the first time that we are binding it to a protocol. So we are going to bind it to OData v2 and also OData v4 service. Uh, so let's start with OData v2 service. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, come here again and right click and say new service binding. And I will say give a name Z uh, UI. Uh, UX team v25551 and this will be the service binding for UX team and OData v2 UI so that's what I'm going to choose um, you can also you have a whole bunch of options here uh, you can choose OData v4 UI if you want or OData v4 web API without the Fury Elements app uh, so I'll choose the OData v2 with the UI and we have to do is say the service definition. Uh, notice the uh, next and finish is grayed out. Uh, so I will click here and I will choose Z underscore expose UX team 5551. Uh, say next and say finish here. And this should create me the service binding. And we can activate this now. This should get activated. And then once it's activated, uh, I can go ahead and publish. So this is going to take a little while. So I'll come back once this is complete. OK, the service is now published. Uh, so what you can do now is you can select the entity set. Again, if you had multiple entity sets, then you'll see a whole bunch of them here. And then you can click Preview. And this will open up the Fury Elements app. And you can see that the Fury Elements app is shown. Uh, you say go, and right now there is no data in the base table, so that's why you don't see any uh, rows here. Uh, but you do see the standard search functionality where you can search by first name, last name, and so on. And you have uh, the filters for first name, last name, and salary. Uh, let's go ahead and create a user. And I'm going to create a user here. Uh, I'll call it Milton age uh, 45 uh, role I'll call it uh, as UX uh, developer and notice that um, um, I'm not putting in the salary because the salary is read only uh, let me go ahead and create and this should create me the user uh, it creates the ID here as well and if I go back uh, you will see that there is the user here uh, it is set to active is set to no because um, uh, we have this uh, defined as a 
as a action I can select Milton I can set active and now the user is active uh, so that's what happens uh, when you create the fury elements app with o data v2 uh, what we'll do here is we will go ahead and create a binding for o data v4 as well uh, so you can have any number of bindings so I can go service binding here and then I will give the same name z ui um, v2 here or v4 here instead of v2 uh, and then what I'll do is I'll give a description service binding for UX team and instead of choosing O data v2 I will go ahead and choose O data v4 UI and then the service definition itself is going to be the same and then I'm going to say finish um, and it's pretty much the same steps here um, so what we have done here is we have come to pretty much the end of the cycle here um, and let's go back to all the steps that we have done uh, so we started with the base table uh, created the interface view created the consumption view the metadata extensions we defined the business object uh, we defined all the definitions for this business object uh, we implemented the behavior definition we projected and um, notice that we projected all the behaviors even the delete and I mentioned that I'll go ahead and remove delete later on and then we had the service definition and the binding uh, so we have pretty much a complete app at this moment in the last section we'll look at draft handling uh, but before that let's look at how the delete operation works if I don't project it uh, so if I go to my app right now you can see that I have the delete functionality right here uh, so what I'm going to do here is go into my projection and let me go into my projection here and in my projection I'm going to remove a delete I do not want to expose the delete functionality uh, let me go ahead and save it and I'm going to activate it here as well so at this moment I do not have delete and let me go ahead and close this app and let me go ahead and open it again uh, I can go into my service binding uh, and the UI v2 is what I want I'm going to say preview and this time uh, if everything works I should not see the delete and you see that there is no delete delete is not exposed and I and you can still see the same number of rows here okay so that's it for now in the next session we will look at draft handling functionality uh, but at this time we have a fully functional app with odata v2 and v4 service thanks